Our first game, a really good one. Washington and Baylor, two teams with very high hopes for this season. One team very young, one much more experienced, but both figure to be very good. But I think with their length, they are gonna go zone all the time in this one. Teague, who is a terrific shooter, right from the wing, and he buries the three. Five on three. Wide open look, Teague, and he knocks down his second three of the night. So you got a guy from Rochester recruiting a guy from Seattle, essentially. <laughs> Makes sense. To go to Washington. <laughs> Happens all the time. <laughs> Another wide open look for a three. This time it's Jared Butler, and Mike Hopkins can't be happy. Their initial first shot defense in the half court setting has been pretty good. Jaden McDaniels with a three, the assist to Quade Green. No longer out at the top, he's down along the baseline. Ooh, and vital at the other end. So looking at them, but they're staying in the two three zone right now. Bay up at the top along with Green. And another three for Mitchell, so Baylor's got four buckets, and they're all three pointers. But that was a strong move that he made, great pass. And a nice left handed lay in there by Vital. Getting the ball inside and then a nice dive down to the rim by Vital. That was impressive. This is a good passing team. And a three at the other end by Nazea Carter, the leading returning scorer the Huskies have at just over eight points per game. I've got a switch. Van Du the kick out. Butler knocks down the three. Boy, good hands. Again, so much length. They're going to get so many deflections. And they're going to get a bucket at the other end from Naz Carter. Each of the last two trips, to your point, they're going to give up that little shot in the middle. But now Vital with a steal, and there's nothing they can do to defend that one. But it's Baylor ball. Mitchell, nice look ahead to Clark. Stewart the kick out. Nice extra look from Green to Carter, and he'll splash down a three. Vital and Gillespie stripped. Right, the mirror right went down. He got that strip while he's still on the ground. And how about that steal by Mitchell? Great tackle. Wow. And that'll put, put us midway through game number one tonight here in Alaska with the Baylor leading Washington by a score of 31 to 24. First half stats brought to you by Vanguard. Corner three. Face the basket, make a play when you get the ball there because he did quickly, but he couldn't finish it. Wow, sticking with it is Stewart. Isn't it make fun of Seth and I? We'll get there. Yeah. It's still early. Floater from the baseline, and Butler's having a big night for Baylor. Rams that has won 18 or more games 12 consecutive years. And they're in some pretty heady company with the other five. Great elevation there by Carter. Now with the green and Hardy at the top of it. So a smaller look, although Hardy comes up with a steal. Carter into the lane, left hand won't go. And Stewart off his fingertips. Pull up, Bandu, yes. Back, back, back. McDaniels, not afraid to drive into traffic, had it rejected, got it back. Oh. And a slam on the baseline for Carter. But Washington really stuck with it there. My question is, last year they played at a very slow pace. We know they're going to defend. Bandu almost coughed it up. Gets it back. Three from the wing, and he rattles it home. Good pass. And an assist for Stewart on the bucket for Carter. What a pass. And a great cut and lay in for Teague. McDaniels cross court. Wide open look. And a game time. Been a while since Stewart's had a good touchdown low. There it is. Almost automatic, it seems. First time tonight, right? No, they played it in the first half for, for several minutes. A miss, a rebound, a foul, and the Huskies headed back to the line. Again, as we said, Mike Hopkins refers to the man-to-man -man as like an off-speed pitch, just trying to mess up the timing. Teague will force it. Miss it, and Washington will win it. What a comeback at the end of the game. The Huskies come back from 13 down, outscore Baylor 21 to 5 to close the game and win it by three.